Yes, it's Watia Valley, everybody. Welcome back. We're in Farming Simulator 2017 for those playing at home. And we have a load of canola. If you look down the bottom there, Goldcrest Pacific Grain. We have a great demand for canola. We're about to get into some decent money, hopefully. And we're rocking on down the highway here. Now, one thing I want to add in up the front here as I talk over the top of this video, is that I've had to edit in my commentary after I've done all the recording, which usually I do it as I play. But this time I've had to do it after, and the reason is, ah, about a third of the way through this video, all sound in the video stops. And that was my fault, I was playing around with the recording settings, and I forgot to unmute the game sound, which was an absolute shocker. There goes 69,000, by the way, that I got on my first load of canola. Excellent. And here goes our second load, which is only a half load because I only had about, I think, about uh, 80, no, sorry, uh, yeah, about 70,000 litres of canola. But anyway, like I say, about a third of the way through the video, all the game sound stops, which is a bit of a shocker on my behalf. So I'm just going to record my commentary over the top this time. And so I'll just keep talking and we'll see how we go. Um, what I've done, though, is when the game sound stop, it becomes very, very quiet, funnily enough. So I've added in some music, some background music. How about that for something a bit different? So anyway, we started off our day uh, yesterday, or the day, sorry, the yesterday gaming day, that is, uh, with a great demand in canola. And now what we're doing is we need to put in a milk, milk filling trigger. Because if you remember, we've uh, got a bee farm now, and we can make honey milk, and we need to, some way to extract our milk from the dairy farm. And you mix milk and honey, and you make honey milk. I wonder how they came up with that name. Unbelievable. Great, great name. Very accurate. So anyway, what I need to do, though, is I need to buy one of these here. And that's what I've done. I went and bought this transporter, which is essentially the same as a water tanker, except it's painted in yellow and black stripes, like a honeybee. How about that? And uh, you can fill that up with milk, because usually you can't extract any milk or load any milk from your dairy farm. You need that milk trigger. And now I've got a transporter. So what I can do is transport it up to our farm. And here goes me. Oh, yes. I'm loving this. I remember this. Look at this, guys. One take. Backing back in. All that way. And look at that. Look how accurate that is. My backing has improved out of sight. And then I just back it in. And I noticed, actually, that the refill prompt was already up. But I decided to back it right in anyway. Press refill. And a little pipe should show any second. Let's anticipate it. There it goes right there. And we are now filling up our milk tanker with milk so we can take it up to our bee farm so yeah that was all pretty cool what a beautiful sunset it was too excellent so yeah i've got that bee farm ticking along quite nicely at the moment as we take the milk up and it will just cut out there we go look at that the magic of editing let's not go in the shed or oh, actually let's back it into the shed so we'll back this into the shed uh, because we don't actually have a factory yet to be able to process our milk and our honey. And that's the next thing I think from memory. And the music's about to start. There it is in the background everybody. Because we have no game sounds. So instead enjoy a little bit of background music. I don't know why I brought up my chainsaw there but I did. But anyway 350 litres of honey there. It needs to go up to 500 to be full. And I'll wait for it to be full before I grab it. So I get maximum amount. But hey, I'm going in here now. And from memory, I am... What am I doing? I can't remember what I did. Ah, that's right. Sorry. When I first went in there, you would have noticed it was four beehives inside that little shed. That means it's full capacity. So I had to build another bee hut. Because my guy is still pumping out beehives up in the uh, beehive factory. Now, here goes the actual processing factory. And here we go here we need to we took ages to find somewhere to place this by the way so I cut that out and then there we go done and dusted but what it does is it doesn't build an actual factory straight away you've got to build it by putting wood in and there goes just the foundation so I jumped in my trusty old lizard loot loot ute I should say and we've come back and we've got our logs so once again it took it took a long time for me to find the trigger point here but I did, and look, there goes the first walls went up, and we just swing around, and there we go. The walls have gone up. So just got to keep adding wood, and that's what we did. Now one thing you'll notice as we go through the process of adding wood into this uh, into the construction is that it actually got to 99%, and then wouldn't go any further. I made the, I chainsawed down really small 
pieces of wood and it still wouldn't go to 100. So I could only get it to 99%. But anyway, there, look, we've got a sliding door as we drop it down. And the inner workings here, you've got a big tank, a big milk tank, milk processing tank. All good to go. And I can't quite read that. What are we up? 92%, is that what it says? I need to increase my screen here. 98, is it? It looks like it. So there you go. There goes a little chainsaw bit that I, as I got the uh, close to 100, but um, and I took that one. But then it wouldn't take any more. So I spent ages once again trying to figure that out. But hey, we thought, let's just try it out anyway. So I've got my full tanker of milk right here. And I've just got to rock on up to the processing plant. And it's a very inconveniently parked ute right there. I think what I might do, it's actually quite good commenting, commentating over the top. I don't have to do any sort of uh, uh, synchronizing with my audio, etc. It's a lot easier. I don't know. What do you think? Just means I talk over the top of cut, so there's no clear cutting. I'm just talking straight over the top of it, but who cares? So there we go. There we've got the um, we've got the milk going into the honey milk factory. So it needs honey now. But I'm going to wait until that honey is completely full before I uh, transport that into the into the factory. Might as well try to get the most out of it that I can. Oh, look at that. There was a little hint of a back there, but I bailed out early. And what I'm going to look to do is probably just grab one of these tankers of milk every day and bring it up to the plant. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about processing and then selling later on in this video because I need to make some decisions around how I'm going to do that. We're still 410, so we haven't got enough honey there. Still a little way to go, and it proved to be that it would take quite a while to get honey. In the meantime, if you remember from an episode or two ago, I actually had, I think it was barley in this particular field, field number five at the top of, right at the top of my farm. And so I had the, the straw swath on and made some bales. And here they are here. I actually don't need any straw bales. I've got a heap of them. But what I thought I would do is uh, you might as well make them while you're you know harvesting this type of crop because you can sell them straight away and you get decent money it takes a little bit of extra effort but i think it's 100 percent worth it so you get 30 bales and we'll get about 300 dollars per, per bale so it's a nice little chunk of change you get by picking up these bales and if your animals don't need them then selling them straight away up in the barn and that's what I'm going to do so I get a couple I think I've got three loads out of this paddock or two and a half something like that so yeah nice little injection of cash as we just get out my road bales look at this this is cinematic right here watch this and a cut ah brilliant brilliant that would have looked awesome in 3d maybe it wouldn't have who knows so I'm rocking around to the barn here it's quite a skinny barn and I, off, I often find that if I don't get it a little bit sort of even on each side of those pylons that it ends up dropping a whole lot on the ground. So what I always have to do is I sell my bales and you can see the dollar amount ramp up on the right hand side. I've got to rock around here, run around here and yep, no bales went through the wall, which can sometimes happen. Okay, the next thing that happened guys was we got a great demand for wool at the spinnery so we had a couple of um, pallets of wool here so we thought we might as well sell them it was the best part of 10 grand uh, per 1000 litres so yeah definitely worth selling on I always find it quite tricky sometimes getting these pallets on the back of the truck I don't quite get the angle right and look at that ha! look at that man that bounced a long way it's a bit of a glitch there but quite exciting Farming, it's an exciting uh, vocation sometimes. Anyway, I've got it back on there eventually. I need to learn just to tilt up just slightly. Not lift, but tilt. There we go, see that little tilt? And then that a little bit more. There we go. Come, come on, sort it out. Anyway, and we got it on there eventually, so that was a good effort, wasn't it? I need to give that tractor a wash, but I just can't be bothered. So we had our second pallet of wool. And in the background, there is another pallet starting to be produced. And I thought, I might as well go and grab it. It's only one or two, one. I think it's only got one wool bale on it. But since there's a great demand, I might as well sell it anyway and get the best price I can. And here it is right here. So let's just throw that on the back of the truck. Any old wear, any old wear will do. And once again, my outstanding skills come to the fore, not... Right, so then what I did, had to do is I'm putting on the straps. 
get on there, boy. Get back there. Okay, we got those on. And uh, we'll just wait for those to get on. Then I jumped in the truck. And so the spinner area is obviously down in the main town. So what I realized is I was about to rock off on down the road. Then I thought, oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to need to unload these. And I could probably automatic unload them. I'm not too sure. Actually, I can't unload wall bales. That's why I had to grab my tractor. And with the follow me mod, you can line up as many vehicles and they'll all follow you. So I uh, definitely recommend getting follow me. So, oh, I always go into the store because it's control F, not control P. I don't know why I think it's control P. I adjusted the distance to 15 meters, sits in nicely behind the truck, and away we go. Off down the road and um, looking to sell our wool. And he's coming, so that's awesome. Let's get down there. And from memory, I think I cut it a bit. There we go. And we arrive down at the spinnery. Um, so I've been thinking about what my next move is, and I really want to get a new harvester, but it's going to cost 380000 all up, the one I want, including the header. Because while my current harvester is completely fine, it just takes a long time because the width is pretty average. I think I mentioned that in my last video as my tractor arrives and smashes into the back of my trailer. Nice work, numbnuts. So I'm really keen to um, maybe get a bigger harvester because I do need those fields for income quite often. So I'm going to need to, uh, I've got still got my big wheel loader up at the biogas plant and I'm looking to sell all that silage. At the moment I think it's $421. I want to get it up close or over $500 before I sell all that off. There's a lot in there, so I want to make a lot of money out of that. I've also got plenty of grains in my tanks, in my tanks, in my silos to sell off. So I think next video could be a big sell off. That's what I'm going to look to do to make as much money, get a new harvester for the farm. Anyway, here we go back up at the uh, honey farm and you can see up at the bee farm, I should say. You can see that that honey crate is all good to go. It's uh, 500 liters. So I come in here and look to pick that up. And so all I need to do here is take it over to the factory uh, that I already have put some milk into. And um, that will just automatically start to produce honey milk which is one of the products. You can actually sell three products through the bee farm. You can either sell honey milk, which is a combination of honey and milk, as we mentioned earlier, or you can sell honey by itself, or you can sell bees by themselves. So I've just got to figure out what the best price at any given time. It fluctuates just like any other product. And But I just wanted to show you this just so you can see how this all works. And there goes the pallet gets automatically loaded in there and they stack up on those shelves once you start to get a lot. There goes the loading zone. So we'll wait for that to process. And in the meantime, I need to actually buy the selling point. And that's where it is here, 20 grand. It's not too bad. So I fiddled around and then decided, here we go, behind the hay shed there or the uh, little storage shed, put it there. And I've uh, got my tractor pulling up to the factory. And we see that, uh, that well, there's actually, I think there's about 5,000 liters of honey milk that we've produced. So it must be add a zero onto the amount of honey in there, and that's how much honey milk you produce. As long as you've got enough milk. So there's 500 liters, so you get that makes five 500 honey and 5,000 liters of milk makes maybe 5,000 liters of honey milk. Who knows? I'll have to look that up. But anyway, guys, here we go. We're going to come up here and sell that off, and that will be another product product at our disposal. So we're starting to build a nice little farm right here and let's empty that out go unload and it's just an unload function that you use and there it goes and guys that's where i'm going to end the episode sorry about no game sound for the last bit of it and i want to say a huge thanks though thanks very much for watching make sure you smash that like button there goes the music there subscribe if you haven't done so already and until next time everybody take it easy